Okay, you love opera. Yes. Okay, I'm quite partial to a bit of opera. Yes. But in the way that most people are. Uh, Vivian, uh, are you an opera fan as well? Do you like a bit of opera? Yeah, I saw La Traviata okay. um, a couple of days ago with Renee Fleming. Well, that sounds good. Um, uh, I don't normally do Verdi, but she was amazing. I, I also <laughs> am not uh, normally uh, to be found at Verdi. James, are you an opera fan? Uh, some of them, yes, the modern stuff, particularly right, Benjamin Britten's Peter Grimes. Oh, blimey. So I'm the one who's going to lose, because you all know your stuff. Because uh, I only know the opera, like most people, right. from TV adverts. Right, right, right. You know, they're the bits I know, the bits I know, or football matches. Ness and Dumo, la, da, 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 or something like that. Anyway, so I have an opera quiz we're going to do now. Feel free to join in at home and, and in the green room. Uh, I will accept as the correct answer either the name of the opera, okay. the name of the aria, the name of the composer, or, to make it fair, the name of the ad it appeared on. <laughs> All of those are valid answers in this oh. opera quiz. Yes, any one of those. Is there no, a buzzer that we can No, of... put your hands up politely okay, if you wish okay, to okay. Uh, uh, engage. Here we are. Number one, please. Yeah, like Wainwright Rufus. That's the love duet from Lacme. Also known as the British Airways thing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I knew that one. I gave you a chance there for the first one in. And no, also, it was used it. in no the movie. No conferring, please. Team Westwood. <laughs> it was used in the movie The Hunger, too. It was. Yeah. I love The Hunger. Yeah. Okay. Track number two. Uh, <laughs> Wayne White, Rufus. Uh, Carmina Burana. <sighs> Old Spice advert. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, no, also no. <laughs> That's an equally valid answer. Will you just give... I'm gonna... I'll give someone a chance. Yeah, yeah. Give <coughs> Track number three, please. <laughs> give someone a chance. Okay. May, James. Uh, Marriage of Figaro. Marriage of Figaro, also using the Wagyu adverts that I'm currently enjoying. Wait a minute, that isn't the Marriage of Figaro. Okay. No, Barbara it's... Barbara Seville. Yeah, uh, it's, uh... Can you be more precise? Yeah, Barbara Seville. I meant the Barbara Seville. That's the Barbara That's right. Seville, yeah. Largo yeah. al factotum. Yeah, there you go. But also using the Wagyu advert. Okay. Number four. Here we go. Two more to go. Do you want to go to the orgy? <laughs> <laughs> I, I never want to see you in those pants again. <laughs> James, May, May James. Ice cream. Yes. <laughs> Cornetto, to be precise. No, no. Also known as Osola Mio. Yes. By Eduardo de Capio. It's not an opera. And, uh, no, it's not an opera. Okay. What's it from then? What's that from? It's, just an, it's a Neapolitan aria. Is it? Yes. It's Where's it from then? Neapolitan. Neapolitan. What's that? <laughs> you can't just have it. <laughs> You can't just knock out an aria and stand on its own. You've got to have a of bit course. of a where the guy comes in the room, oh, what is my keys? Where have my keys gone? I'm leaving this orgy. Where's my <laughs> wallet? And then he goes in with, oh, where's my wallet? Give it to me. My pants are assless. Come have some sweet. Put that in your head. All right, all right. Number five, this will be whoever gets, winner takes it all. Here you go, track number five. Wayne White, Rufus. Uh, this is from Gianni Schicchi, O mio bambino caro. By? By Puccini. And for a clean run, the advert it's in at the moment is? I have no idea. <laughs> it's from A Room with a View, though. They had it in that movie. Sorry, I'm not allowing you to have that point. Instead, I am taking it because I know that's using the DFS Sofas advert. <laughs> You put up a good battle, Wayne, right? <laughs> but you fell at the last furlong. <laughs> uh, OK, you must be, I imagine, a little nervy about how it's going to be received. Yes, You're a confident yes. fellow, but obviously this is a, this is a big yeah, thing Yeah, the harder they come, the harder they fall. Yeah. Are you, <laughs> Sometimes. Are you, are, you, <laughs> are, you, are you ready for the reviews? Are you girded I, for the reviews? You know, I, I think I'll be fine. I, you know, I... I, I, uh, I, I, I a lot of the, the issues that I've dealt with, because there are a lot of issues in opera, I mean, when you have so many people and so many big characters, um, you're, you're going to get burnt. Um, and uh, I've realized, or my, my wonderful boyfriend, Jorn Weisberg, who's also a very neat German, uh, he, uh, he told me that, you know, the, the, the struggles that you're experiencing are what every great composer has experienced over you know, the history of music. So, so you just, you're in there. So I'm in it for that. Oh, and I do want to say that I, I loved what Vivian had to say about the environment. I thought that was great. That's absolutely great, right. Great. It was. That's wonderful to, to do it. How lovely to have you in our company again. The one and only Mr. Rufus Wainwright, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
Sorry to keep you. Well done. Fantastic. Good luck with the offer. Mr. Rufus Wainwright, ladies and gentlemen.